Hey guys, MOSFETs are very special transistors that are widely used in our electronics design. MOSFET is a metal oxide semiconductor field defect transistor. This time, we'll look into basics of MOSFETs and also we'll see how it is different from BGD. So let's start. There are two types of MOSFETs. Enhancement mode MOSFET and depletion mode MOSFETs. We mostly use enhancement mode MOSFETs in our design. And in our videos, we'll cover only enhancement mode MOSFETs. Just like BJDs, MOSFET can be used as amplifiers or switches in a circuit. But before that, we should know the basic difference between BJD and MOSFET. We know there are PNP and NPN type BJDs which we have seen in many of our previous videos with analogies and these are the schematic symbols. Just like that, we have P-channel and N-channel MOSFETs in this category. The P-channel MOSFET is analogous to PNP transistors and N-channel MOSFET is analogous to NPN transistors. And these are the symbols. Actually, both MOSFETs and BJTs come in the same package so it is very hard to tell the difference between them without knowing the part number. BJTs have three terminals which are base, collector and emitter. To turn on a BJT, we provide a signal to the base, turn it on. And current starts flowing to the collector and emitter. And MOSFETs have gate, drain and source. In MOSFETs, we provide a signal to the gate and current starts flowing to the drain and source. BJT is a current control device. MOSFET is a voltage control device. That means the amount of voltage provided at the gate of the MOSFET ensures the amount of current flowing to the drain to source. It is like a driving force to turn on the MOSFET. BJT is a negative temperature coefficient device. That means when the junction temperature of the BJT increases, its electrical resistance decreases. But MOSFET is a positive temperature coefficient device. That means when the junction temperature of the MOSFET increases, the resistance that is RDS on of the MOSFET increases. Input resistance of the BJT is very low. But input resistance of the MOSFET is high. Well, BJT is a current driven device and its input resistance is very less. So it needs microamperes to milliamperes current at the input depending on the current flowing through the collector and emitter. MOSFET is voltage control device and its input resistance is very high. So it restricts the high current at the input. So input current is very less, say in picoamperes of the MOSFETs to turn it on. As BGT is a negative temperature coefficient device, so when it saturates, it dissipates less heat. But the MOSFET is positive temperature coefficient device. So when temperature increases, its resistance also increases. As its resistance increases, power dissipation across it also increases, which results in an increase of more temperature. So when it saturates, it dissipates more heat. Switching speed of the BJT is very low, but the MOSFET switching speed is very high. And last but not least, the BJT is an unidirectional device. That means if we take an NPN BJT, the current can flow through collector to emitter. And for PNP transistor, it flows from emitter to collector only. But MOSFET is a bidirectional device. Current can flow from both direction, that is from drain to source, or from source to drain in both N-channel and P-channel MOSFET. Well, it's quite difficult to understand and do it in actual circuit. I forgot to tell you about this body dart of a power MOSFET. If you consider the N-channel MOSFET, it needs a gate threshold voltage to turn on. When the MOSFET is connected in the circuit, and we provide a voltage signal between gate and source, the MOSFET turns on 
so current starts flowing to the drain to source. And as soon as we remove this voltage signal, the MOSFET turns off. The MOSFET gate needs sufficient amount of gate voltage. If the signal is not high enough, the MOSFET doesn't turn on. We just discussed that MOSFET is a voltage control device. So the MOSFET resistance depends on the gate source voltage, that is VGS. If there is no VGS, then the MOSFET resistance is very high when it acts as an open switch. As soon as we provide VGS, this resistance decreases gradually until this MOSFET fully turns on. We are considering this resistance between drain and source of the MOSFET, so we call it as RDS. And when the MOSFET turns on, this RDS value becomes constant, which we refer as RDS on. For P-channel MOSFET, we either need to give negative VGS at the gate, or we can connect the gate of the MOSFET to the ground to turn it on. And it works the same way as that of an N-channel MOSFET. MOSFETs are widely used in many applications. Till now, we have seen in our videos like all types of DC to DC converters, battery management system, and constant current controllers. Also, MOSFET can be used in automotive ABS application, power trading, LED lighting, motor drivers, over voltage protection, and many more. For starters, this is sufficient. In the next video, we'll see different parameters of a MOSFET. Till then, stay tuned. I hope you got something from this. If you haven't, you can watch the video again. Still, if you don't, you can ask your doubts in the comment box below. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and finally, thanks for watching.